Hey, what's up guys, it's Deepboard here from Deepboard Gaming, and welcome to game number three between Lucifer and Reprisal from the Zotac Cup from August 15th, a long time back. And, uh, anyways, uh, we are going to be Reprisal spawning at the top right position of Twisted Meadows, very friendly human map, uh, and, uh, okay, undead map, a little big, um, does favor all risks, basically. Twisted Meadows, very, very solid standard map, and, uh, all pro players, I guess seem to like it never really gets uh, unvoted or vetoed that often but um yeah we are gonna have the standard uh, alter zig build uh, for loose we're gonna put down that crypt most likely and uh gonna be to see I actually have a power build power build coming for uh, reprisal so uh, that means it's gonna go for the archmage and get the early goblin lab and he's actually gonna have to use that goblin lab uh, or the, the quick uh, power build is going to come in handy because how close he is uh, spawned uh, to Lucifer. Probably the worst uh, spawning you probably could have got as a human player on this map uh, against under player because the DK or, or in fact if you're playing an orc player uh, that blade master quick you know pick off uh, two three uh, four maybe peasants uh, if, if you're really lucky but uh, Lucifer going to be a little bit on the unlucky side and going to run into this pig no just kidding uh, he's going to be able to scout over here and not going to see the base uh, for quite some time but hopefully We'll have enough time before that DK gets out to adjust and see if he has to go to this uh, Goblin Lab over here. He's going to put down, going to go for the same build, so a little bit delayed fiends, and uh, going to do the same thing as he did last game. But wow, if you guys haven't seen game two, uh, pretty, pretty solid game. But uh, Archmage is going to be coming out, standard footman. We are going to see the, uh, yep, here we go, we got the early militia. Going to go to that Goblin Lab really quick, pick it up. Oh, Archmage already running down there with the water mental. And uh, usually, I think human players, um, if they do it right, they I think they actually lose one militia. If they do it really right, they don't lose one. But I think they actually do lose one on purpose. Um, not really too sure about that, but do they? Um, usually, I see human players lose at least one militia. Um, but it's a pretty fair trade. You're picking up level 2 here. Um, looks like he's going to get a DK. Going to be a little bit delayed here. Nope, he's going to see it, but he's going to be able to pick off a multiple, multiple, multiple um, militias here with some foes, it looks like. Uh, trying to take the pursuit angle right now. DK being blocked by sheep. And it uh, looks like the base is blocked off indeed. So uh, Death Knight won't be able to get in there, but that coil will be able to reach it. And a uh, pretty smart Repositor sending back his early uh, weekend Peasants, uh, looks like this one is going to fall down. Already used a coil to uh, take it down. Uh, he's going to have to use a... Oh, he could use a skeleton and run in there. Yep, that's exactly what he's going to... No! Run the skeletons up into the base. I uh, do have an acolyte uh, sitting up here at the top left. Um, I don't think we're too much. Probably make a fiend here at this point. Maybe he's always oh, saving up for attack. Yep, that's what he's doing. Saving up for attack now. And it looks like Reprazo sitting at level 2 is going to go try to do some harassment uh, on Lucifer's base, maybe? Um, Lucifer's death and just running around here going for the very very delayed uh, fiends at this point putting down another zig and skeletons coming in here uh, he's actually have to use militia to counter against these skeletons I'd probably lose all of these peasants here looks like he's gonna lose one militia one goes down probably gonna lose another one no it's gonna be taken down um, but anyways do have some harassment uh, coming in for reprisal most likely but he does see that Nurebrian tower so that's gonna be pretty pretty pesky uh, for the uh, human hero to uh, basically get inside there and try to cause some havoc on his acolytes. So, uh, nothing really too much Reprisal can do except for start creeping um, more bigger spots and try to get level 3 on that Archmage ASAP. Looks like uh, two more skeleton minions being sent out here. Uh, looks, ooh, it look, looks like Reprisal is not going to give up though. He kind of wants to try to get in his base. Or maybe just keeping an eye on this Death Knight. Um, probably wondering where's the first fiend uh, there's the first fiend that's coming out uh does that have that tech already about halfway done no tech yet coming for reprisal so this is telltale signs of an expansion so reprisal are getting go for expansion this point nice to see this and skeletons are gonna spot this actually yeah he's gonna spot this because it's it's a town hall he knows this, this expansion coming and reprisal probably adjusted his build because he saw it was a quick um tech so he's gonna feel like his um he can go for this expansion point, but since that expansion point is coming up, and this is probably good, we're most likely going to see mass towers. Uh, Lucifer is probably going to go for the destroyer counter, and uh, probably going to be most successful. Uh, meanwhile, we do have some more uh, skeleton minions coming here, getting another peasant kill. Looks like uh, maybe going to go after this one as well. Nope, skeletons uh, do decay. 
Uh, meanwhile, Lucifer is going to come in here try to get a creep jack. Uh, not going to be successful though. That one ogre does fall. Trying to get a surround here. And he did get the surround. Get the surround here. Peasant looks like it's going to fall down though. And Footman probably should move. No, Peasant getting another Peasant in place. And he's going to have to force a TP here on the Death Knight. And Lucifer, that's just one bad mistake at this point. No, might be able to get out. No, DK goes down. Didn't want to use the uh, TP actually. Uh, kind of a toss up 50 50 if you're going to do that. DK is sitting at level 1. He did pick up level 2 right at the end though. That could have been bad because. Um, you know, level 2 heroes take a lot longer time than a level 1 hero. I saw that recently in a replay that, um, someone's hero died right, right when they turned level 2, I think. I think it was in one of, um, yeah, I saw it in a replay that the hero died at level 2 right before, right, no, he was level 1, but right before he died, he turned level 2, so that kind of sucks. You have to rebuild the level 2 hero instead of level 1. You know, almost want to take the level 1 hero dying Players over the level 2 hero. Um, just in, you know, nick of time it turns, so that kind of sucked. But, um, just like that, you never really think of that stuff like that. But anyways, Death Knight already out since level one. Yeah, I guess it's not really worth uh, using a TP at this point. But expansion point going up doesn't really need to add, uh, you know, mass towers at this point. So basically, needs to get some riflemen or something out uh, to counter off the destroyers. And uh, only going for one slaughterhouse, so he's not going for the duel. Um, but it looks like we do have three fiends. We're gonna have some a little bit uh, encounter. A little skirmish coming here. Uh, does have some defend though to counter against these fiends, which is gonna be uh, pretty nice here. Level three archmage, so we're gonna see a level two water uh coming into play here. And uh, basically, Ruha is doing a nice job keeping the fight away from his expansion point. That's basically all he really wants to do right now. Uh, try to put some pressure on the uh, main base of Lucifer, uh, forcing him to come back uh, to basically defend his acolytes. Um, probably pretty smart now. Um, it looks like he's gonna go for the slaughterhouse. Maybe um, no, just too much slow here. Newburn Tower and the Halls of the Dead. Looks like this one off. Uh, he's gonna fall here. Probably gonna go defend, defend, defend. No defend. Uh, looks like maybe did he get the counter though? Yeah, I think he got the counter. I got the uh, deny from the water mental. Nicely done there. Uh, we do have lumber mill being put up. Still no attack two coming for reprisal. Do the arcane tower up. Gonna be interesting to see if he's gonna go for statues, straight statues. Not going for the quick call of the dead. So, um, maybe we just gotta go for a stat fiend push. That'd be interesting. We do have uh, Death Knight picking level 2 over here. Gonna try to take down some of the skeleton minions. And still no attack. Nope, got the attack started. Uh, skeleton minion gonna come over here and scout. A little skirmish here. Looks like a uh, footman's gonna be falling down. And after watching that long game two of that lich with the uh, orb of corruption, it's almost kind of weird watching the lich use his normal attack. <laughs> um, the archmage doesn't be careful though; doesn't have boost speed like he did in the uh, previous match. Do have a first statue out? Looks like first statue is going to join the posse and going to try to pick up that level two lich asap. Probably needs to pick up a level three uh, DK pretty soon to get some nice nuking. I'm uh, going to pick up sacrificer's call. Maybe he's going to go for a T two push, possibly on the main base. Um, that would be pretty ideal right now. Not really too many towers to uh, prevent this from. Prosper really doesn't have any too many units here. Uh, basically lost all of his footmen over here. He actually did just purchase a goblin shredder. So, uh, actually, oh, wow, he put his units in the back of the Zeppelin. Maybe he's gonna come up from the back and try to take out a few acolytes. But, uh, with all that frost, um, frost tower, it's probably gonna, not gonna be effective because it's gonna be all slowed. Archmage looks like he's gonna join the Zeppelin uh, fight in the back of the base. And it looks like they're meet, uh, meet up, uh, simultaneously. See if uh, Goblin Zep Water Rental actually died inside the uh, Zep, and good timing here. Lucifer is going for the Goblin Merge, so we're probably picking the right time here to do some harassment. And Lucifer on top of things, seeing this, actually going to TP right off the bat. Uh, probably needs to pick this up because he has Web, but TP has Web. Going to take down his uh, Goblin Zep. And no, it was a fake TP. It was a fake TP. Nicely done there by Lucifer. Well, it really didn't really scare Repuzzle that much. Uh, Repuzzle really wasn't going really to do too much. But the fake TP, pretty smart. Pretty, pretty smart. Using the staff of TP, no web yet. Looks like the Goblin Zep may fall, and he's gonna drift the drop his uh, footman. Uh, one of his footmen's gonna be pretty slow here, does have the dizziness. Uh, two of them are look like are gonna fall too. Does he have a trap here? Oh, he probably gotta move that. Uh, could have moved that Crypt Fiend to get that trap there on the Archmage, and uh, would have been a very nice move. But uh, looks like we do have mass towers coming up here, just to prevent from the destroyers. Blacksmith going up, uh, two towers at the main base as well. Um, pretty, pretty nicely done there by Reprisal, focusing the um, harassment on the base of Lucifer, other than Lucifer going to the base of Reprisal. But um, looks like we are going to have to see some uh, first destroyer action uh, relatively soon. Uh, probably going to save up for the orb corruption, doesn't have gold. See if he's gonna do it. We'll stay here with the Lich, possibly. Yeah, looks like he's gonna stick around. Nope. Uh, spotted loose. Uh, Reprise his little Archmage and Voltman coming from the west, and he's gonna retweet, retreat, 
and Arcane Simon going up. Uh, this Goblin Shredder helping out uh, with all that mass tower production. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. But um, two more towers going up. Uh, looks like we do have the Elite trying to get level three uh, pretty quickly. DK picking the Orb of Corruption as well. And we are having the first Destroyer Farm upgrade uh, going up. And only one statue though. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how well Reprisal is going to defend this. Porsche single T2 home for King Sanctum. Is he going to go for a Rifleman? Um, he went for Naga Seawish last time, so it's going to be interesting to see. Was, wow, he's taking this. He's taking this creep camp with the solo foot in and the solo water control. That's kind of interesting. Stealing this uh, forced high, high troll priest. Uh, this one footman actually got netted by this trapper. So um, it looks like we have the Mountain King. So playing a little bit more safer at this point. Not going with the Naga Sea Witch. Probably, uh, you know, Naga Sea Witch probably more ideal choice for a push. But uh, Mount King, uh, you know, better for the standard play. More consistent. And uh, Archmage is trying to take this golem down. Probably not the smartest decision. I'm trying to creep this out with the golem. Not sure if he's really trying to do that. I don't really thought he could really do it. But here we go. We just have Lucifer going about picking up the three on both heroes. That's very solid here. This is a TP. And uh, actually picked up a Naga Sea Witch as well, so that's interesting. Picked up a Naga Sea Witch, another uh, statue coming in here. So I should have destroyed relatively soon. Picked up World 2 on the Naga Sea Witch, another nice item here as well. Potion with greater healing. And uh, this is a very nice army. He's going to go for the push in, it looks like, at the base. Does have the 2 0, or uh, excuse me, the 2 upgrade on the uh, towers right here. And uh, our, uh, the peasants can be instantly focused down. Uh, doesn't have any acolytes, but just using the uh, Blade Ground here. It's going to help him uh, units uh, regenerate a little bit more HP. And it uh, looks like we're going to see some sappers. Let's see some sappers. And what's going to be interesting to see, he's probably going to use it on the Ziggurath, most likely. Uh, going to see some harassment here on these acolytes. Moving the acolytes here is going to take it down with a bolt. And this is in some nice position here. Sapper, Sapper running in. Going to take down a Ziggurath instantly. Going to use another Ziggurath right here. Oh, uh, Lucifer is going to get it. He's going to get it. He's going to kill it. And he killed the Sapper. So a lot of damage there. But look at this. He's moving in here. Taking down these towers. Lucifer doing a very nice job. It looks like he's going to be able to take down the expansion point. And it'll be very, very bad here uh, for Repositor if he's going to lose this. Nice little counter nuke there uh, to counter those peasants there. A fork lightning and frost nova take down a lot of those peasants and it looks like he will be able to push in the expansion point pretty easily didn't even make any statue destroyer for him but i will check out the base of uh, lucifer uh, losing a lot of resources and all acolytes back at the base or oh, actually no not any acolytes i'm um, just trying to take a lot of damage on the gold mine looks like one unit got staff back though Oh, he used the staff of TP. So he used the staff of TP back just to send the Lich back to help defend and uh, ultimately just prevent this harassment from further going on. But, um, yeah, it looks like uh, Lucifer was able to push out here, and that's going to hurt the economy of uh, Reprisal drastically. It's going to go for the Magic Center upgrade, going to go for three Paladins. So probably what he was looking for a... Um, most likely he was probably looking for a Air Build, I'm guessing. Or he could go for Night Build, right? Night Build, okay. Night Air. But uh, yeah, he's gonna have to start off with knights now. He doesn't, doesn't have enough resources to start resources to start making the uh, griffins. Um, but um, more harassment coming back. Oh, we actually had uh, spell breakers, so that's pretty nice for harassment. Another spell breaker joins the posse. Looks like a micro here coming in the zeppelin. Gonna redrop them and uh, gonna have to require some micro here. And we do have a TB coming involved. We'll see the TB, and he's gonna discard a TB with the archmage. Ooh, Mount King might fall down with the nukes, and it does fall down. Nice little nuking there. And uh, Lucifer bas basically total domination right now. Took down uh, this town hall. Um, or didn't really take it down, but is he sending a lot of peasants over to heal up? No, he's not sending He doesn't really have too many peasants. Uh, basically rocked over all of his uh, peasants over there. Looks like he could send them over just to heal up um, the expansion point. Maybe even mass towers over there. But uh, really can't hold uh, this army of uh, Lucifer at this point. Uh, his heroes are just way too overpowered. Um, but uh, we do have level 1 paladin. Level 3 Archmage of the Selby. So, uh, kind of decent. Making a workshop in an odd positioning. Not sure why. Farm in an odd positioning as well. But uh, we are have a little skirmish here. Going to use a uh, Holy Light on that spot breaker. Lich. Wow. Nice little items here on Lich. Actually, two staff of TPs. So, that's kind of interesting. Why would he go for two staff of TPs? Probably just had it on there. Probably going to pass one to Death Knight, pop, uh, possibly. Where is the Na where is the Naga Sea Witch? Naga, Naga Sea Witch doesn't have any items. But uh, maybe some more harassment coming for Prazer. Prazer is able to heal up this town hall. Uh, make some more gold here. And I believe Reprisal is going to make it. So if Lucifer runs uh, to the expansion point to try to finish it off. 
Um, Big Pops is going to trade that and try to go uh, take down more Acolytes and uh, furthermore, uh, more Ziggurats. And it looks like, he, looks like he's doing that regardless anyway. just going to try to take down more Ziggurats. TP coming involved. No, probably just fake here. And nope, it was real. Not a fake there. <laughs> I think it's fake because he has two staff of TPs. No, I actually sold one now. And Paladin is uh, very, very weak. Uh, gonna get the focus here. Slow here. One more nuke from the death line is gonna do it. Yep, took it down. So level three now on the Naga Sea Witch. And these heroes for Lucifer just showing total domination now. Looks like Lucifer probably is looking in the uh, winner's seat right now for this game. But um, some uh, mass towers coming up from this uh, Mount King. Let's have a staff of sanctuary. And it looks like we are seeing some mass helicopters, possibly. That is interesting to see. Why would we be going for mass helicopters? He's going for, yeah, he's uh, upgrading the rocket and the machine guns for the um, uh, helicopters. But it looks like Mount King is going to fall down. Uh, nothing really healed up. Nuke there. One more nuke from, ooh, I think he just missed the nuke. Yeah, he tried to nuke, but he just missed it. And now he's going to run into these guard towers, and they're going to be uh, taken down. First destroyer. Is this the first destroyer we've seen all game? Anyways, we do have the, did the Archmage go down? Are you telling me the Archmage went down? There we go. Archmage didn't go down. Uh, looks like Mountain King's going to be focused down with all those nukes. OP nukes, OP nukes. And uh, now I see which could be the first thing. And remember, you cannot coil that, but he did have the potion. That's why he left the potion on that. I was actually kind of surprised he passed it to the, to the Death Knight. Uh, potion and Rebility being popped off there by the Archmage. Paladin rejoins the fight. I'm surprised he's just not focusing down the Paladin with like two nukes. First flying machine gets involved. Um, and this could be uh, webbed instantly. Uh, focus on the Archmage. Archmage goes down. And uh, wow. Wow, Lich sitting at a very um, strong level 4 right now. That's nice sitting at level 4 too. Nuke, Le uh, Frost Nova taking it down. Still trying to get the focus on Naga Sea Witch. And the Spellbreakers are all going to fall down. I'm afraid this is just a GG. Uh, Lucifer total domination right now. And uh, just staying under 50 food at this point. Uh, abusing his uh, hero's powers right now. And nothing really too much Reprisal can do at this point. Uh, I'm going to be remaking all of his, all of his three heroes. But uh, I almost feel like it's 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 almost he's just trying to uh, play this out. But uh, really nothing really too much he can do at this point. It's a, a game for him to lose. So we'll just speed this up. Um, hopefully you guys don't get mad at me for doing it. But I'm relatively retired just to like... Um, uh, commentary before this as well, so I'm pretty tired. You guys saw my lack of motivation, but uh, this game didn't really require too much. Um, I guess it wasn't it wasn't crazy entertaining like the last the last few games I've been doing, but uh, it was a pretty good game in uh, that that matter. But it looks like I guess he could come back at this point, but I doubt it. I mean, his heroes are just way too underleveled, and uh, looks like those under heroes are just way too powerful. Ooh, wow, an expansion coming down at the bottom. So maybe that's why. Uh, but he lost this one like eight times. So, um, not really too much you can do at this point. Level 3, gonna take, uh, this expansion one. Looks like he's gonna creep it out here. And Lucifer is playing very, very strong. Uh, just making sure he's gonna win this. Getting all possible good items that he can possibly get. Getting the most possible levels he can get on his heroes. And here we go. We got the last fight coming in. Slow it down to one time speed. Looks like we have to focus right off the bat on the Mount King. Mount King sitting at level 3. Looks like that one unit is going to be staffed out. Uh, Mount King could be healed up and doesn't need to be careful here. Looks like these fiends could go down. But um, these heroes of the undead is going to focus down these heroes up pretty quickly. Probably going to go for the nuke on the uh, Mount King. Yep, there's a nuke. Nova, Fork Lightning. Going to save that one Crypting. And uh, looks like Lucifer's going to be able to survive for another day. Looks like Paladin's going to fall down. Still level 1 Paladin. Uh, Frost Nova going to go down. And now he's going to try to finish off this arc made before that can possibly happen. We're probably going to call GG. Hope you guys enjoy the game. It's a little bit drawn out. Um, just because Lucifer played it safe. Wanted to make sure. Wanted to wrap that thing up. Because uh, basically, he 3 0 Reprisal in that Zotac uh, Cup. So, uh, pretty, pretty strong play there by Lucifer. But I hope you guys enjoyed that series. And, uh, yep, I'm done with that series. And now we'll look for more replays. Anyway, Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it once again. And, uh, yeah, peace out.